What's happening people, welcome back to my real life car builds in GTA 5. So today we're going to be looking at a car from the new Cunning Stunts DLC. Now there is a lot of cool cars in this DLC expansion, but I thought for the very first one that we would cover the new Progen Tyrus. The Progen Tyrus is yet another supercar and like the rest of the cars in this category, it is incredibly fast and it takes clear inspiration from the McLaren F1 GTR Longtail. There's also some similarity to the Saline S7 as well. Now the F1 GTR Longtail is a racing variant of the McLaren F1, which as you probably know was the fastest production car for a very long time. Now the original McLaren F1 was released in 1992, with the GTR being released in 1995 and the Longtail not coming out until 1997. But the Longtail had a brand new body which was supposed to optimize aerodynamics. Apparently it generated enough downforce to run upside down on the ceiling at 100 miles per hour, which is pretty impressive because this is something that you usually hear about F1 cars being able to do. Its most famous victory was probably the 1995 24-hour Le Mans event where it won against much, much faster purpose-built racing cars. Now obviously the F1 GTR Longtail has a lot of racing modifications over the road-going car, but it still had the same naturally aspirated BMW V12 engine. But because of regulations, it was fitted with an air restrictor which actually limited the horsepower to about 600 horsepower, which actually made it less powerful than the road car. But due to the fact that it was so much lighter and so much more nimble and had so much more downforce, it was actually a much faster car around a track than the road car. What's crazy about the F1 GTR is that the first variants actually had the standard gearbox in it, so these cars raced and won in events with the standard factory gearbox, which gives you some indication of how crazy this road car was back in the day. Now as I said before, the Progan Tyrus is obviously heavily styled on the F1 GTR Longtail, so that is the car that we're going to be using for this build. So once you've got your hands on one of these, we're going to roll into Los Santos Customs. If you research the McLaren F1 GTR, there's a bunch of different liveries and color schemes, but the one that I like best is the full orange body. So that's what we're gonna be using for the inspiration for this build. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go under exhaust and we're gonna choose the race exhaust. For the livery, we've got a couple of different options, but we're gonna set this to none. Under the spoiler, there's a couple of different options. Now I've just gone for the stock, but I think also the Extreme Downforce BGW would be a good choice too. Now under the primary color, I've gone for an orange matte, but you'd be certainly welcome to use a metallic or even a classic. For the wheels, I actually think the stock wheels that come with it are quite nice, but I've decided to go with the Wagon Master, which are pretty close and they're listed under Sport. And obviously we're gonna choose black for the wheel color. For the suspension, we're gonna slam it to the ground. And of course, we're gonna max out all the other performance upgrades. And there you have it, a McLaren F1 GTR Longtail. It's a bit of a shame that the Progan Tyrus doesn't have more customization options, but even stock, it's a very cool looking car. It also has one of the most unique engine notes as well. Anyway, as usual, I've stuck all my customization options in the description field so you can go ahead and build your own GTR Longtail. But other than that, I wanna thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this build and I'm out.